Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Ford Financial. It's a uh, freaky Friday, Ford Friday here on the uh, channel. Uh, I haven't talked about Ford in a while. Um, I have uh, quite a few shares of Ford. Uh, it's probably one of my uh, bigger holdings. I think I got into it uh, just because it was a cheaper stock and had a decent dividend and thought someday it would run up and it finally did. So, um, but I've had uh, Ford for uh, quite a while, and um, I'll show you when I uh, purchased it. And uh, so it's had pretty decent uh, three months. I uh, could have got into it for uh, ten dollars, and, uh, and then it's just been kind of running up ever since then. Here's a look at the uh, last year. Uh, so see, you could have uh, doubled your money and then some. It's had a, a great, great year since the uh, pandemic. I think I bought some for right about five dollars. Uh, we'll go over that here in a moment. Right after the uh, pandemic, um, kind of kind of a nice run up there, and then went back down. But um, ever since then, it's kind of been uh, steady. I've uh, never seen it this high since I've held it. So, uh, but this is Ford ticker is F, and I have 112 sh shares here at a cost basis of uh, 865. Um, Feel free to pause and uh, go over this there for yourself. I'm not going to read what uh, Ford is. Uh, I'm sure you already know. Uh, founded in 1903. Uh, $49 billion market cap. And uh, 1.23 dividend. And up to this point, I don't think they're still paying the uh, dividend. But we can check here. Not the greatest ratings at a hold. 37% uh, uh, buy. Uh, for those of you Ford owners uh they do have uh earnings coming up here available uh april 28th after hours um i even did a uh looks like a uh option on it so kind of forgot about that but it's been a while since i've uh bought any ford um kind of maxed out on ford and just wanted to wait and see kind of what it did um but you can see i think i even bought it back when it was higher at uh, July of 18 at 997 and you can kind of see some of my orders and then it started going down you got one here at 950 in August of 18 940 945 so it was kind of up and down um staying right under the uh 8 to 9 dollar range here's the dividend December of 18 so 15 cents a share uh, that's kind of what I remember it paying. August 15 of 19. So if we uh, get towards the... Well, this would be after pandemic time. You could have got it for 878. <clears throat> 886. Bought some there at 875. Or this is 19. This isn't after pandemic. I'm sorry. Uh, so here it was uh, paying a dividend still uh, 15 cents back in September of 19. Still in the $8 range in October. Still in November. So stayed in that $8.50, $8.75 range here. And uh, February started going down for whatever reason. And looks like it was continuing to go down for uh, some reason this is uh pre-pandemic so it looks like it was maybe trading some at one point trying to buy and trade i'm not for sure exactly what i was doing but you can see continually to go down i probably uh, lowballed these so that was eight dollars so it looks like it was kind of going down uh pre pandemic uh, here's getting close to pandemic time you can see it's under eight dollars that's when I started buying it uh, here's probably the last dividend that uh, still 15 cents uh, I would say here's after right in the midst of pandemic at 587 so some at two or 540 520 595 so I did get some uh, pretty decent prices. Uh, I should have totally loaded up back then if I'd have known it was going to run up like it has now. But um, 
I didn't, and it doesn't look like we're uh, getting a dividend now, so that's what I thought. Um, haven't heard when they're going to reinstate that. Um, it's hard to say, but uh, when I find out, I'll probably do a video about it and let you know. But uh, electric vehicles may be the biggest change in 100 year plus history of the auto industry. This is just uh, dated yesterday. Uh, UBS uh, predicts that 20% of all new cars sold globally will be electric uh, by 2025. Um, California, and I just saw yesterday, I think where Washington is going to be, um, you can't buy a gas car in either one of those states in the year uh, 2030. Uh, the number is expected to jump by 50% by uh, 2030 and 100% uh, by 2040. Um, that seems a ways off for 100%, um, but but a lot of these are long-term plays. I uh, do have a Tesla. Feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest here for yourself. Um, I have uh, quite a few automakers. Um, Ford is my biggest holding uh, just because it was cheap and dividend and now it's going up so I'll just uh, continue to hold it. Uh, they'll be bringing the uh, dividend back at uh, some point I would assume. At this point I have not heard so here's a Ford production worker assemblies batteries for Ford electric and hybrid vehicles at the Ford Rossonville assembly plant in uh, Michigan. So kind of cool stuff there with the uh, batteries. I've got more information to go over here, so uh, moving on. Uh, like I said, uh, earnings there on April 28th, which isn't too far away. Uh, I did a video on the uh, Mustang um, uh, a while back. I'll have to uh, try to link that in the uh, description, um, but that's a pretty cool looking car. Looks nothing like... I mean, if I were to see this on the street, I wouldn't say that's a Mustang. I'd be like, oh, what the beep is that? But uh, it is a Ford e Mach-E, so it's a pretty cool car. Um, not, and the price isn't even too bad on it um, for a Mustang. Uh, like I said, I did a video on it uh, a while back. Uh, it was a pretty cool... Uh, uh, you can find it on uh, YouTube, uh, other videos about the uh, Mustang as well, but I'll go and link that in the uh, description as well. But feel free to pause and uh, go over their price there for yourself. Uh, Ford to offer hands-free driving in some car truck models uh, later this year. And so very cool uh, information. We'll start putting its hands-free highway driving technology in some of the uh, pickup truck and Mustang models. Later this year, the uh, Blue Cruise is what it's called. Technology offered on its 2021 uh, F-150, which is their uh, basic bread and butter, if you will, as their biggest money makers. And they got rid of uh, some of the other cars, but they uh, kept the uh, Mustang. Uh, they already conducted 500,000 miles and developed testing for the uh, Blue Cruise and plans to sell more than 100 vehicles with the technology in the first year. So, very cool information. Uh, this kind of goes over um, the uh, semi-conductor uh, related shutdowns, including um, Kentucky Truck Plant. Uh, this is just 20 hours ago. Uh, feel free to pause and uh, go over that information there for yourself. I'm sure if you uh, follow Ford, you're already aware of that information. Um, I did miss an article back here. It did have a, uh, here we go. Uh, CEO takes a dig at uh, Tesla while teasing own self-driving uh, tech. And this is uh, some pretty cool uh, information here. Uh, Ford CEO took a dig at uh, Tesla and CEO while uh, trumpeting his own uh, company's self-driving technology. And here's a tweet, uh, so you can find the uh, Jim Farley tweet, uh, Blue Cruise, we tested it in the real world so our customers don't have to and I'll go ahead and play this probably won't be able to hear the audio um, but there's not a whole lot of talking on it it's just uh, mostly music but you can see they did took it over 37 states 10 Ford vehicles one mission
So it's talking about blue developing, um, Ford developing blue crews. So basically testing uh, hands-free driving over 100,000 miles and the F-150 and the uh, Mach-E Mustang. Mother of all road trips, Moart. Talking about how it keeps between the uh, dashes and the uh, dashes when they're not as um, clear and white as those. It's testing the technology. Talking about how the cameras watch the driver's eyes. It's kind of interesting. Talks about how some driving can be stressful, but Blue Cruise will uh, ease that for um, customers. So. Again, another reason why I uh, keep a hold of uh, Ford. Um, they're doing some uh, amazing uh, technology. Um, they're all, all the EVs are doing some amazing technology. Of course, Tesla is uh, number one. Um, I uh, just did a video on uh, Tesla yesterday. I have uh, GM shares. I've done videos on them. Um, Neo, I've done videos. I have shares. Liato, I have. Uh, I just did a X-Ping video yesterday, so if you're into any of those, go ahead and check those out in the library as well. Over here to uh, Stock Twits, um, and I didn't know if I'd ever see Ford above uh, $10 when I was buying it, so I'm uh, pretty impressed that it got above that. But here you can see 52-week low of 452, high of uh, 1362. So I suppose if you wanted to uh, trade this one, you probably could, um, but I'm uh, long-term on it. Um, like I said, I got into it because it was a pretty cheap stock uh, with a dividend. Um, one green day in the last eight, garbage. Uh, so some people don't like Ford, so um, there's been times that I haven't liked it either, but uh, just continue to hold it, so... Sometimes the uh, stock market, the uh, whole key is uh, patience. Just uh, hold it and have patience. Uh, here's a GM 5861. I didn't think I'd ever see a GM that high either. So uh, Nokia I've had. I've had uh, traded Nokia in the past. Uh, it's not going to show the price. There it is, 418. Still nothing to uh, brag about. Um, a lot of people are talking about GE. I don't own any GE. But not too much other information. 50k buy, 50k sell. <laughs> uh, I was going to say Ace Gen... Ace Ventura, but this is a liar, liar. Jim Carrey, one of my favorites. All rubbish talk about completing with competing with Tesla, but for investors, company can't even fart. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. I see Teslas every day that I'm out, so there's getting to be more and more Teslas. Uh, but there's Fords everywhere. Um, people are always going to be loyal to Ford and. Some people don't like EVs anyway, but uh, you better get used to them because they're not going away. They're just going to become more popular. So looks like we have no volume again today. Barcoding into weekend. Have a good one, everyone, except Ford. <laughs> uh, so like I said, some people are uh, loyal to Ford. It's just kind of like uh, some of the MJ holders are uh, loyal to uh, Sundial. So... Um, Taking money from a bunch of suckers. So, uh, over here to uh, Tip Ranks. Uh, Tip Ranks even um, kind of gave it a little bit of a boost. I was kind of surprised. Uh, but, like I said, if you have uh, Ford, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments. If you have GM, Tesla, or any of the other EVs, or any or, uh, car manufacturers, uh, leave that in the um, 
uh, comments uh, that would be interesting to know in your cost basis. Um, back to Ford, 1224, moderate buy, 1354 with a 10% upside, uh, which I feel is pretty good for Ford. Uh, 16 of a high, low of 11. So, uh, but that's all that I have for Ford. Um, you see what I have here? I think I have another 100 shares in the uh, retirement that just kind of sits there and does its thing. But um, if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing. And that would really help out the channel and um, get the uh, videos promoted. And I thank you for watching. Happy trading. Happy investing. Stay green. Cheers.